Hi, myself, I'm Ratan Bhushan. Welcome to the program, The Great Bharat and the Great People. Today, what I'm going to tell you about one of the important uh, fact about the Yojana magazine, that is the development roadmap. Development roadmap. This is something very important for us. Like uh, this is the thing which is introduced by Prime Minister, inaugurated by Prime Minister. Prime Minister launches intensified mission Indra Dhanus, that is going to be known as IMI. Then I will repeat karunga. Intensified mission Indra Dhanus. So we will try to know that what is the aim and objective of Indra Dhanus. What is it, the main area and who are going to take part in it. So intensified mission Indra Dhanus IMI was launched recently in Vadnagar in Gujarat by the Prime Minister. Through this program, number one is Government of, government of India aims to reach each and every child under two years the age of age and all those pregnant women who have been left uncovered under the routine immunization program. So basically Indra Dhanus IMI is related to immunization program. IMI is related to Indra Dhanus program. The special drive will focus on improving immunization coverage in selected districts and cities to ensure full immunization to more than 90% 90% by December 2018 So Indra is related to it? It's related to immunization program for the children as well as for the pregnant women The achievement of full immunization under the mission Indra Dhanus to at least 90% coverage was to be achieved by 2020 So with the launch of the IMI achievement of target has now been achieved Advanced Speaking on the occasion of Prime Minister what he said Let let no child suffer from any vaccine preventable disease. Once again, I will repeat. Let no child suffer from any vaccine preventable disease. He stated that the government has made immunization a people's and social movement and made a strong appeal to those pre present in the audience and the country, men and women, to own the uh, program in order to make all the efforts to reduce maternal and child mortality. I would like to tell that why I used to tell these things. Because I feel that the government, whatever they are doing, the program, the hard work, what the, our Prime Minister do for the public welfare, it's very important the public have to know. And knowledge is power, so it's not only this thing that you have, if you are preparing for any competition, at least you have to know that what is going surrounding us. So the four phases of the mission, Indra Dhanus have reached to more than 2.5 crore children and 68 lakh pregnant women with the life-saving vaccine including 5.21 with children and 1.27 lakh pregnant women in Gujarat. Earlier the increase in the full immunization coverage was 1% which has increased to 6.7% through the first two phases of the mission Indra Dhanus. With the SAPEN focus on high priority district and urban areas under IMI 4 Conjugative immunization rounds will be conducted for 7 days in 173 districts, 121 districts and 17 cities and 16 states. It's very important. 16 states and 52 districts in 8 northern eastern states every month between October 2017 and January 2018. And the last few points are intensified mission Indra Dhanus will cover low performing areas in the selected district and urban areas. So what is the main IMI? Indra Dhanus immunization program for whom? For children, for children below than two years of age and for the pregnant women. So intensified mission Indra Dhanus will cover low performing areas in selected district and urban areas. A special attention will be given to unserved and low coverage pockets in sub-center and urban slums with migratory population. The focus is also on the urban settlement, cities identified under National Urban Health Mission, that is N-U-H-A-M, National Urban Health Mission. So thank you guys, those who are preparing for competition, those who are not, but even then it's important, knowledge is power. Thank you, all the best.